When we opened up our office one year ago this week, we had 70 panels, just 70 names. And today, it's something that's known all over the world and something that has brought love and strength and unity everywhere it's gone. And these are the people who took it there. It's, uh, and these are also the people that, with your help, are going to take it back to Washington, D.C. Hi, I'm Cleve Jones, Executive Director of the Names Project, and we're standing in front of the Names Project workshop on Market Street here in San Francisco. Today's August 23rd, and it's been one week since the deadline for panels to be included in the Washington, D.C. display for October 8th and 9th. And we've been working very hard since they came in. We've received over 10,000 names, and they all come here to the workshop where we begin the process of sewing them together. So come on in. This is the workshop, and it's the first stop for all of the panels. They come here from every city and state, many different countries now, and the first thing we do is spread them out on the floor, make sure that they're the right size, and sew them into the 12 foot by 12 foot blocks that are the basic building unit of the Names Project quilt. Hi, I'm Cheryl Swanick, and I'm from Los Angeles. Uh, um, I'm the events producer for the Names Project. Uh, I've been working with the tour being the kind of uh, ground advance person while the tour is out, and now I'm focusing on coordinating events. We're doing a lot of events uh, in D.C. We're doing a great community concert that's a lot of music that was inspired by the quilt and generally the AIDS epidemic, which is going to be at Lisner Auditorium on Friday. Um, we're doing a wonderful event at um, the Kennedy Center. Um, we don't have all the people booked, but I tell you, most of the names of these great divas none of us can even pronounce. Hi there, my name is Lance Henderson. I'm in charge of merchandising here with the Names Project, along with the famous Kurt McMullen, who most of you probably met on the road. This is a facsimile thereof. She's here to make sure that everything gets done exactly correctly around here. Hi, I'm Gert, and uh, I went on the tour. I'm in charge of merchandise and sales, and now I'm back, and I'm your basic godsend, and I've sewed up the whole quilt, and I've done everything, and I don't know what all these people have, need to be around for. And <laughs> As I'm fond of saying, love and compassion gets us an awful long way with the Names Project, but it doesn't pay our bills. And that's why I'm here, and we're trying to make sure that uh, Washington, D.C. is not only a successful event in terms of attendance and the media impact, but also financially for the Names Project so we can continue to do what we're doing next year. We're working real hard right now on several merchandise ideas. Those would include some t-shirts about Washington, D.C., some buttons. Uh, we'll be doing a new videotape while we're in Washington, D.C. Uh, we're working very actively to try and sell the book and do a big Christmas promotion for the book this year. We're basically selling anything that we think of, that we can think of to sell. Hi, my name is Deborah Resnick. I'm involved in sewing at the Names Project, and I'm involved in transportation. I drove Stella, which was our truck, around the country during the spring and the summer on our 20-city tour. and. Now I'm involved in getting the quilt to Washington. All of this fabric that you see in back of us has to be sewed and we come in every day and sew these quilts and one day we're gonna get them all done and ship them right off to DC. My name is Evelyn Martinez and these are the quilts that just came back from four months on tour and I'm looking them over for repairs, getting them ready for Washington. And some of them, I mean, it, they took a beating, so they need a lot of work. Some of them have survived beautifully. And this leads me to say that I hate glue. Hand, all the ones that have been glued are the ones that are suffering. 
The ones that have been sewn down are the ones that are, that are surviving well. I'm Joe Van Ness and I do a variety of things here. I coordinate the volunteers, I uh, am one of the production technicians and logistics person. Uh, I'm also one of the more mechanically inclined people here, so if anything's broken or needs fixing, um, I do that either here in the workshop or on the road. Um, if, if I can't fix it, it's broke. And right now, I'm putting together the layout for Washington, D.C. This is the plan. Um, as of right now, there'll be uh, about 8,000 panels and 996 12 foot by 12 foot sections, uh, similar to this one. The display will be about 700 feet by 550 feet uh, wide. Six or seven football fields I that out right away. at this point in this configuration. My name is Scott Lago. Um, I'm the production manager. I was on tour with the quilt and in charge of 10 of the cities. Um, this is the quilt. <laughs> it's all here. When I made the first quilt in my backyard for Marvin Feldman a year and a half ago, I had no idea that tens of thousands of people from every state and many nations would be joining me in building this quilt. Out of all of this pain, we're creating something of beauty, something that lasts, something that helps people to go on with their lives. Help. My name is Marcel, and I hide bills. And if you all don't raise enough money, Little Cleve won't be able to take his quilt to Washington, and we'll just be stuck here. No, I, I am the office manager, and actually what I do is, is pretty much just sort of like hide bills and um, answer the phone and direct the information from just one place to another. Uh, my name is Charles Sublett. I'm the data coordinator for the Names Project, which means that I keep the pink data and the orange data totally far, far away from each other. Um, so they don't clash. <laughs> Actually, what I'm in charge of is designing and maintaining the databases for panel makers, uh, names on the panels, etc., and uh, keeping our computer system up and running that was graciously donated to us from Apple. Hi there, my name's Jeanette Cojane. I've been working here for about three months. When I came here, Michael Smith asked me what kind of job title I wanted, and so I thought about it and I said, I want to be director of international programs. So I'm in charge of the world. <laughs> in addition to Washington, D.C., we have lots of ongoing projects. There are lots of people around the world who have heard about the quilt and are very interested in bringing the quilt and its message to their countries. So we have a chapter already started in England, and we have people making panels in Uganda and Brazil and West Germany and uh, different countries around the world. So we're always looking for more contacts and more people with, with different uh, language skills and also contacts in different places. Ja, grüß Gott, ich bin Markus Feigle und äh, ich weiß Deutsch, wie ihr alle wohl versteht. <lacht> bon dia a todo mundo, ich bin Markus Feigle, ich falo Portugies também, como todo mundo entende, lógico, ne? Well, I'm Markus Feigle, I'm from Germany, and the main things I do is I try to translate the stuff we have in English to German and to Portuguese and to make it work, because we have very strong contacts, to, especially to Brazil and to Germany, and we have already a chapter in the United Kingdom and in Australia, so the quilt is going to become international. 